Artificial intelligence is here and making advances at the speed of light. Many are wondering how this technology will impact the business world. We'd like to welcome back Sanjay Srivastava, Chief Digital Strategist at Genpact. It's good to have you with us. Thank you for having me. It's great to be here. Yeah, we've been hearing AI. It is imp impacting everybody, whether professional or otherwise. And we're curious how this is going to affect people in the business world, the business world in general. And is this going to be taking away jobs? It's a great question you ask. And indeed, it is going to have a very large impact on the business world. One of the ways we're thinking about generative AI is you think about a point product versus system change. A point product is something, let's assume, you know, the ability to understand where you are on maps on your cell phone. That's a point product, it tells you where, where you need to be. But a systemic change is using the same capability, except think about ride sharing. Ride sharing allows you to bring millions of new drivers into the workforce. It changes the nature of the workforce. It changes the availability of cars and taxis and limousines in a very different way. It brought in hundreds of billions of dollars of capital in terms of the inventory because every driver brings in their own car. Mm. So you think about it, that's a systemic change. And in many of the same ways, we think generative AI is gonna drive a systemic change. And so for businesses, it becomes super important. Yeah. You know, the other question, of course it has an impact on jobs, but it's a little different than the traditional approach. It doesn't necessarily take away jobs but it does augment jobs and it changes the nature of what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things we're learning already is that people that use generative AI will certainly replace people that don't. So it is an augmentative capability and that's the right way to think about it. But equally being able to take advantage of it requires new skills, new approaches, new ways of thinking and so it's important to be skilled to be able to do that right. And it just seems like this technology is moving so very fast. And for someone who's been in the business world, whatever that may be, whether it's in finance or other industry, that the, the 20 years that they've already spent in that role, could this essentially affect them to the point where they won't be able to necessarily keep up? Or do you think businesses around the world are actually going to be working with those who have built their careers around a particular industry and help shepherd them through the changes? Well, first things first, you know, you're right. There's been a tremendous amount of change over the last 20 years. And here's the point. The pace of change, as fast as it has been, is, is the slowest it'll ever be in the future. And what I mean by that is it's only going to accelerate from here. So it's important that we take charge of what tools we have in hand. You know, I go back to one of my first early years when I started driving, and I used to drive with my hands on the steering wheel and a map on my lap. And I'd be trying to figure out where I was trying to go and I was paying attention to the road and the driving and I was looking down on the map to see if I'm on the right track. <laughs> that was what I used to do. I, re I remember now, the Thomas guides I, myself, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, what we're doing is we're using assistive um, uh, technology in our cars. And then sure. the car is actually telling us which turns to take and which ways to go. And so while I'm driving, I'm no longer focused on looking at the map. I'm actually having a conversation. I'm doing a call. I'm getting other things done. And so it's the same idea we evolved from maps on laps to actually driving and actually having a fully leaned in conversation with your teenager, in my case as an example, mm -hmm. and be completely in the moment with him or her. Right. In the same way, I think generative AI is going to give us co-pilot or augmentative capabilities that we need to take advantage of. But as we do, will easily transition into the new ways of doing things. Sure, sure. Uh, tell us a little bit more about Genpact and what you do there. You uh, have 800 some clients around the globe. Uh, you've impacted $40, mil $40 billion worth of, of financial impact around the world as well. So can you tell us a bit more about your company? Yes, Genpact is a global professional services firm we operate business processes. We transform business processes, processes for large global corporations. We serve the Fortune 500 as an example, over a third of the Fortune 200 are clients and have been for a while. And for them, we'll take big, bulky, large, complex processes, supply chain, finance and accounting, sales and commercial, regulatory compliance, and we'll take these big operations, we'll transform that using data, technology and artificial intelligence. And then we bring that into play. 
and allow them to take advantage of that transformative future. We do this from across the world. We're a global corporation. We're in 30 plus countries and we've been doing this for a while. Yeah, fascinating stuff. Well, I know this conversation is just t getting the tip of the iceberg, not even that. So we're definitely going to look forward to having you back on the program and discussing more developments as they come, which I know are going to come very, very fast. So we appreciate your time, Sanjay. Thank you. Indeed, they will. Look forward. We're back after this.